What's up guys, Hang about the fourth here back with another video. And today I am here with a video to try to help some of you guys out with an issue that I've had twice actually, <laughs> finally figured out the fix. Today we're gonna be fixing the specific issue. Uh, if you have any of these issues, number one, if you have winlogui.exe running at 100% CPU usage. Number two, if your window security is showing a blank screen, so it looks like this, if that is that you, then that's number two. Number three, you can't update windows, meaning when you try to go to here, to settings, to windows update security, and you try to check for updates, it just spins and spins and spins and it doesn't do anything. That's number three. And number four, final, if you fall in the fourth category, you try to go to advanced options and it doesn't do anything. It clicks it and it freezes. If you fall in that category, you're number four. If you have multiple of these, I had all four of these at the same time. So you fall in all categories. I'm going to try to help you guys out. I, t I just got off of a chat with a Microsoft advisor. His name is Rano Deep. Rano Depp. I can't, I'm probably butchering his name. He is a Microsoft uh, advisor. Um, he actually helped me fix this issue. And what I'm going to do is basically relay the information, relay the the solution that he gave me. I'm going to give you a step by step tutorial, and I'm also going to have the entire chat between me and Rhino Deep in the description. So you guys want to follow it step by step. I'm going to basically shorten it down for you in this video. But if you want to follow it step by step or use it as a reference, I'll have it in a Windows Word document or Microsoft Word document in the description. All right. So let's do a slight recap and then we'll get into the fix. So the problem we just stated all four of the problems. You can't update windows. You can't access advanced options. Um, your window security screen is blank or your winlog UI.exe is running at hundred percent randomly. The issue happens to be that the winlog UI.exe. And for me, it was three other files as well. I'll have screenshots of them. It was three other files as well. They're virus. They're, they're malicious, fi uh, files, they're viruses. And the solution is basically to get rid of them. And I'll tell you how that, how we go about doing that. So let me go ahead and first show you guys the files so you guys can see which ones I am talking about. Um, here we go. So the four files that are in question are not question, but I guess about to be decimated are win log UI dot exe win rm srv dot exe start check up startup check library dot dll and win scom rs service i guess dot dll those four files for me were threats and they were quarantined and then removed afterwards so let's get into the solution so like i said before i have the entire chat between me and ronald deep in the description but i'll go ahead and just summarize some of the stuff he said so initially he advised me to do a couple of things they didn't work the first thing that I'll say, it didn't work for me, but it might work because I did see this when I was doing my own research before I actually entered a chat. It was to run this SFC slash scan now. I'll have it in the description. Um, and it, there's also another command, DISM. I won't put that one, but this SFC is, I think, I can't remember. It's like file checker, startup file checker or something like that. It's a scan. I ran the scan windows defender didn't or windows resource protection didn't find any integrity violations it didn't work for me but i'll have it down there as well after that he, had, he asked me to download a couple other programs some registry updates and stuff like that those didn't work so i won't put those in there um but like i said before if you you can access the whole chat and you can it'll have hyperlinks and you can do all of this yourself honestly but um the next actual thing that worked, I guess the next impactful thing that he told me to do was to do this in place upgrade. And what you're doing is basically reinstalling windows and it's going to get rid of all those malicious files that have kind of compromised any windows things. So windows security update, everything it's going to reinstall windows. What you'll see when you go to this link, the media creation tool is the same exact program that you would use to make a windows on a flash drive. To if you're like building a computer and you're trying to reinstall or install windows to the new computer, it's the same exact tool. The thing that you're doing instead is upgrading your computer. Now I was skeptical because I was like, is this going to, you know, delete any of my files? Am I going to lose programs? Trust me when you run this program and I'll halfway do it with you. I won't actually run it, but I'll show you the process. 
it will not delete any of your files your computer will literally look the exact same it'll run the update it'll it'll basically resemble a windows update it won't even resemble like you're reinstalling windows it'll look more like it's just a windows update and when you're done you log into your computer like normal everything boots up you might have some errors which we'll get into later so you want to do that and we'll pause right here in the chat and i'll go ahead and pull it up so this is the tool you'll see you'll download the file in the description and you'll see this screen what you want to do is hit upgrade this pc now so hit that and hit next and it'll download a fresh copy of windows that it'll use to reinstall so we'll go ahead and let that do its thing and there's another menu we'll get to later hello i'm back uh, this is a quick interjection i wanted to note because i didn't actually get to this in the video but the thing that i just mentioned that the menu that'll come back later is this menu right here all you have to do is just hit install it'll say install windows 10 pro make sure this says keep personal files and apps if it doesn't go to change what to keep and select that and hit install that's literally it that's the last thing so i just wanted to put this in the video before i ended it so back in the chat basically once you reinstall windows like i said before it'll more so resemble an update once you're done for me i had two pop-ups and i'll go ahead and pull the screenshots up right now for you guys i had two pop-ups my screen looked exactly like this when i booted it up um i had a, two run dll pop-ups they were there was a problem starting wins com srv whatever dot dll and startup check library dot dll those were the two pop-ups he advised me to basically close those out and restart the computer and see if they pop up again to which i did and let me go ahead and do i have a screenshot of oh okay so this is the screenshot so basically the the, the pop-up before was that but it was that the start the program couldn't run because the files were malicious or something like that actually in the chat i'll have exactly what i said here we go there was a problem starting winscom srv or whatever and startup check dll operation did not complete successfully because the, fi the file contains a virus or potentially unwanted software that's what it said initially he asked me to restart my computer as you can see right here and then it said the specified the specified module could not be found to which it looked like this the specified module once this happened he told me to download this program called auto runs and i'll have that in the description as well auto runs basically is a program i'll pull it up right now it shows every single program on your computer that starts up when your computer starts up and it looks like this when you go to the everything tab it looks like this it shows everything and just a short run through of what the colors you might be thinking why are some red why are some yellow white basically means it's verified through their servers i'm assuming red means it's not verified the only ones that i have are, that aren't verified are seven zip which is a extraction program it's like WinRAR, same thing and um surprisingly enough microsoft malware protection command line utility is red as well it's not verified and my last one is little big mouse which is just the program that i use it for multiple monitors i have two separate two different resolution monitors so it lines them up make sure i can go across each one smoothly that's what the colors mean so some are verified some aren't but the yellow ones are the ones you want to pay attention to the yellow ones are just not found the files are not found for me those four programs that i showed you before in this screenshot right here where is it at these four they didn't show up because windows defender actually quarantined them and that's what it's supposed to do that's its job it's supposed to quarantine but the reason why is because before you reinstalled windows windows defender was compromised it couldn't do anything so once you reinstall windows it quarantines those files hopefully it does for you if it doesn't you can access uh windows support and ask them about it but this is just what happens so if you're going through the same things that i'm going through and this applies to you then you continue those four files were quarantined i just removed them as an extra step but you can keep them in quarantine i guess i'm not sure but i just went ahead and removed them but from here you want to basically delete those auto runs and what you do is you right click on it hit delete and it'll say do you want to delete the auto run for this you hit yes if it shows that you have to run it as administrator just restart it it'll pop up a screen do you want to run it as administrator hit yes and then just do it again um and those are under the tab schedule tasks that's where they were he specifically told me to go to the schedule tasks tab right here even though they were under everything but that's where they were and once i did that i restarted my computer he said just restart and make sure that it's, everything's all good and i didn't have any pop-ups i can access windows update i can do everything 
um, my computer works like it should be working. So hopefully this fixes your issue. Like I said before, I'll do a quick recap. So the four issues were winlogui.exe spiking at 100%. That is a virus. It shouldn't be doing that. That's a virus hiding behind that file, apparently. Um, number two, your window security screen is showing blank like this. That's what mine will this is what mine looked like. Number three, you can't update your windows. You can't check for any windows updates. And number four, you can't access the advanced options in windows update. You can't click this. It freezes. If you have any of those four issues, I just walk through basically how to fix it. And like I said before, the description will be full of all the goodies. I'll have the complete chat with me and Ronald deep in the description. I have auto runs the program, the link to that program. Um, all of these links are in the chat, but I'll have them in there just for, uh, just for ease of use. I'll have the windows media creation tool down there in the description as well. And, uh, yeah, so hopefully, hopefully I solved any of you guys issues. I've been going through this issue for a couple of months. Actually. Um, I made a video saying that a mod menu was a virus. Turns out it was not the mod menu. It was this. <laughs> so because I literally reset my computer, didn't touch the mod menu, and I still got the issue. So to all the people that we were talking about is the mod menu a virus. This kind of in a way, I don't, I don't like using the word confirm because I used it wrong in that video. It, in a way makes it that that file wasn't a virus, but that's a, that's a separate topic. Thanks to everybody who came through to this video. I appreciate all the love and support. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button. If you know anybody that's going through this issue or if you're on a forum or anything like that and someone's having this issue and this helped you out, be sure to link it, link this video to them so uh, they can uh, get themselves some help. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys have a wonderful day or evening whenever you're watching this video. Thank you guys. Peace. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a like down below and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. Also, don't forget to hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks guys.